Earth's tectonic plates are restless, and Africa's got a surprise. This continent, once a unified landmass, is cracking in two, and most people are missing it. Get ready for a mind-bending journey across splitting valleys and the scientific secrets behind this epic continental transformation. Get ready to see Africa in a whole new light, literally. Africa is splitting into two continents. In the distant future, a novel ocean might emerge at the heart of Africa as two significant sections of the continent gradually drift apart. Recent research suggests that the East African Rift, initially identified as a 35-mile-long crack in Ethiopia's deserts in 2005, signifies the early stages of a potential new body of water. Published in the peer-reviewed journal Geophysical Research Letters, the study unveils seismic data illustrating that the rift's formation mirrors tectonic processes akin to those beneath existing oceans. The crack is positioned at the convergence of three tectonic plates steadily creating separation. This phenomenon, reminiscent of tectonic shifts forming the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, could eventually grant landlocked nations like Uganda and Zambia coastlines millions of years from now. Creepy Dead Trees in Deadly Situated near the renowned salt pan of Sosus Vle in Namibia's Namib Naukluft Park, or Dead Vle, is a white clay pan nestled amid dunes. Its name, derived from English dead and Africans VLI, translates to dead marsh. Often mistakenly labeled as a dead valley, Dead Vle is not a valley, but a desiccated VLI, encircled by purportedly the world's tallest sand dunes, including Big Daddy or Crazy Dune, reaching 300 to 400 meters in height, the clay pan formed after the Tsauchab River's floods created temporary pools. As climate changes led to drought and encroaching sand dunes, the once thriving camel thorn trees perished around 600 to 700 years ago, leaving blackened, scorched skeletons in the arid landscape. Some resilient plant species endure, adapted to meager morning mist and rare rainfall in this captivating, time-frozen terrain. Oldest Human Fossil the discovery of an upper jaw with teeth in Israel challenges previous beliefs about human migration, indicating that Homo sapiens ventured out of Africa approximately 180,000 years ago, much earlier than previously thought. This finding, detailed in science, supports the idea that modern humans overlapped with Neanderthals in the Levant for an extended period. However, last June's research on Jebel Irhud fossils in Morocco suggested modern-looking humans could be up to 350,000 years old. The Mislia site in northern Israel, where the upper jaw was discovered in 2002, further underscores the complexity of early human migration. With genetic evidence hinting at even earlier movements out of Africa and potential interbreeding with other human species over 220,000 years ago. King Tutankhamun's Tomb The uncovering of King Tutankhamun's tomb, one of the most iconic Egyptian discoveries, involved explorers breaking through a plaster-filled doorway in the scorching, musty air of an ancient Egyptian tomb. Led by archaeologist Howard Carter, the explorers, on November 26, 1922, peered inside with a candle and were dazzled by glints of golden objects belonging to the pharaoh Tutankhamun. Despite skepticism about finding anything intact due to ancient looting, they discovered a nearly untouched tomb filled with items ranging from everyday objects to ceremonial possessions meant for the afterlife. Carter's team spent over two months cataloging the more than 600 items in the antechamber, including a golden shrine, three coffins, and the pharaoh's mummy, making King Tut's tomb the most well-preserved royal Egyptian tomb, offering valuable insights into ancient Egyptian culture. Homo naledi fossils. An extinct hominin species, Homo naledi, was discovered in 2013 in South Africa's rising star cave system, dating to the Middle Pleistocene, around 335,000 to 236,000 years ago. The find includes 1,550 bone specimens, representing at least 15 individuals, exhibiting both Homo and Australopithecus characteristics. Despite the abundance of specimens, their classification remains uncertain. With a cranial capacity of 465 to 610 cubic centimeters, small stature, and an encephalization quotient of 4.5, H. Naledi challenges assumptions about brain size and evolutionary advantage. Their anatomy suggests a unique mix of terrestrial and arboreal adaptations, with indications of tool use. Discovered by cavers Rick Hunter and Stephen Tucker, the fossils from the Dinalidi chamber, published in 2015, 
provide a rich assemblage of hominin remains, prompting the naming of the species Homo naledi in 2015. The fossils defy previous expectations and contribute significantly to the understanding of human evolution. Diving Blue Hole of Death Dahab Located north of Dahab, Egypt in southeast Sinai, the Blue Hole is a famous Red Sea diving spot. This submarine sinkhole plunges over 100 meters deep, featuring a saddle opening at 6 meters and a 26-meter tunnel known as the Arch. Despite its appeal for free diving due to shore accessibility and minimal current, the site has a haunting reputation as the world's deadliest, witnessing an estimated 130 to 200 diver fatalities in recent years. The reasons for this alarming mortality rate remain unclear. Dahab's Blue Hole, nicknamed the Diver's Cemetery, has claimed over 150 lives in the last decade, earning its ominous moniker. Despite its dangerous legacy and numerous plaques commemorating lost lives, the Blue Hole continues to attract thousands annually, presenting both recreational opportunities and significant risks for those venturing into its depths. Dinosaur Unearthed in Zimbabwe Discovered in the pebbly Arcos Formation in northern Zimbabwe, the recently revealed Mbirosaurus rathi stands as Africa's oldest definitive dinosaur species, dating back approximately 230 million years. The find offers insights into dinosaur evolution and addresses the puzzling question of why dinosaurs inhabited specific regions on the ancient supercontinent Pangaea. Named after the Shona dynasty, Mbayer, the nearly complete sauropodomorph skeleton, measuring about six feet in length, challenges the notion that the earliest dinosaurs were all small. Despite its modest size compared to later sauropods like Patagodaton, M. Rathi plays a crucial role in understanding the broader dinosaur lineage. While Nyasasaurus from Tanzania may be older, its incomplete skeletal remains leave uncertainties about whether it was a true dinosaur or a dinosauromorph ancestor. Together, these discoveries contribute valuable pieces to the complex puzzle of dinosaur evolution. Eye of the Sahara and Lost City of Atlantis In Mauritania's Sahara Desert lies the enigmatic Richat structure, also called the Eye of the Sahara, captivating historians archaeologists and astronauts. Spanning 25 miles in diameter, resembling Atlantis's described structure, the elliptical dome of sedimentary rock ranges from the Proterozoic to Ordovician periods. Comprising intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks, the structure exhibits lava flows, concentric ring dikes, and Mars. Its formation, attributed to a meteoric impact or deep magmatic intrusion, is supported by magnetic and gravity data. Initially identified in the 1950s, ongoing studies reveal differential erosion patterns and an alkaline igneous complex. Archaeological research uncovers Achillean tools, indicating human activity from Homo erectus and derived species, with tool types suggesting adaptation to changing environments driven by paleoclimatic and ecological factors, including Sahara Desert desertification. Skystone Throughout billions of years, Earth has welcomed numerous meteorites, captivating humanity with both divine reverence and scientific intrigue. One such celestial fragment, the Sky Stone, discovered in Sierra Leone in 1990 by archaeologist Angelo Pitoni, carries local legends of beings transformed into stones by God for their transgressions. Pitoni's analysis, conducted in Rome, Germany, and Tokyo, unveiled a composition unlike any earthly rock, with 77% oxygen 20% carbon, lime, and traces of silicon. Collectors highly value skystone fragments, considering them rare and mysterious, adding to Africa's rich gem legacy, including diamonds like the Cullinan and the enigmatic star of Sierra Leone. Recently made available for sale, skystone, a perplexing mystery for 27 years, presents a rare opportunity to own a piece of Earth's celestial enigma. Ancient Fish Salting Port of Lixis as part of a four-year Moroccan-Spanish research initiative exploring the scope of fish production in a Roman industry, a team has resumed excavations at Lexus, near Larache City in Morocco. This archaeological endeavor builds upon previous work from 1930 and 1960, revealing two new basins at the ancient fish salting port. Confirming its status as the Roman Empire's largest fish incubating factory in Morocco, the port is believed to date back to the 1st century BC. Unearthing remains dating to the 7th century BC, and showcasing the ancient port's infrastructure, the excavations expose an industrial zone for fish salting, supplying Roman tables. 
Additionally, the upper town features scenic views of the Lucos River meanders, a necropolis, temple remnants, an oratory, thermal baths, and an amphitheater with a recently discovered Roman mosaic of the ocean god, Child of Tong. Discovered in 1924, the Tang child's skull, belonging to a three-year-old Australopithecus africanus, marked a milestone in early human fossil finds in Africa. Initially met with skepticism, it took over two decades for scientists to acknowledge Africa's pivotal role in human evolution. Notably, its foramen magnum positioning provided the earliest evidence of bipedal walking in early humans. Puncture marks near the eye sockets fueled the hypothesis of an eagle attack, supported by eggshells at the site and an assortment of animal bones, predominantly from small creatures. The Taung child remains a crucial anthropological fossil, with its significance highlighted by brain evolution expert Dean Falk, calling it the most important anthropological fossil of the 20th century. Found at Buxton Limeworks near Taung, South Africa, it was initially identified by Josephine Salmons and later brought to the attention of Raymond Dart. Meteorite. In a rare occurrence, two meteorites were discovered by a South African farmer, Andre Lombard, marking the first such finds by a member of the public in over four decades. Lombard contacted Wits University geologists, professors Roger Gibson and Lou Ashwall in 2021 to confirm the nature of the rocks he collected on his farm near Pofadder in 2018 and 2021. If validated, these meteorites, named Breerskop and Wolfkop, would be significant public discoveries. Distinguished by fusion crust preservation, Breerskop, 21.19 grams, and Wolfkop, 90.26 grams, represent ordinary chondrites with varying oxidation states, indicating different fall ages. Recognized by the Meteoritical Society, these finds contribute to the scientific exploration of our solar system's origins, highlighting meteorites as integral components of communal natural heritage. Stonehenge of Africa Known as the African Stonehenge, Adam's Calendar, a roughly 30M diameter standing stone circle in Mpumalanga, South Africa, is believed to be around 75,000 years old, possibly the world's oldest man-made structure. Despite uncertainties, this megalithic stone calendar exhibits numerous astronomical alignments, making it almost intact and fully functional. Estimated at over 100,000, similar stone circles are found throughout South Africa's mountains. Discovered by pilot Johan Heine in 2003, initially mistaken for abandoned Bantu livestock crawls, Adam's calendar earned the moniker Birthplace of the Sun. Erected by ancient societies worldwide, stone circles served as celestial calendars, marking seasons and solstices. Napta Playa in Africa, over 7,000 years old, holds the title of Earth's oldest astronomical observatory, constructed by nomadic people to celebrate the summer solstice and monsoon arrival. Burkina Faso Humans and Crocodiles In Burkina Faso's village of Bazul, approximately 30 kilometers from Ouagadougou, an extraordinary relationship exists between locals and over 100 crocodiles sharing their ponds. Legend traces this connection back to the 15th century, attributing the reptiles to guiding villagers to a hidden water source during a severe drought. The annual Kum Lakri celebration reinforces this bond, with villagers seeking blessings of health, prosperity, and abundant harvests from the crocodiles considered the soul of ancestors. Far from threats, deceased crocodiles are even given human-like burials. The mystical link between man and crocodile has attracted incredulous tourists who can purchase a chicken to entice the reptiles for unique photo opportunities. As climate change affects the region, diminishing rainfall and shrinking ponds raise concerns about the crocodile's future guidance. Desert Fairy Circles In Namibia's Namib Desert, an intriguing phenomenon known as fairy circles has puzzled scientists for years. These circular patches, ranging from 2 to 12 meters in diameter, feature barren land surrounded by a ring of grass growth. Initially thought to be the result of divine footprints, researchers now attribute the circles to mathematical and biological factors rather than folklore. Despite various hypotheses, such as termite activities or natural vegetation patterns, the definitive cause remains elusive. Studies suggest a life cycle for fairy circles, lasting 30 to 60 years, with hydrogen seepage and the presence of hydrogen-loving microbes emerging as potential contributors. A cross-cultural study involving Australian Martu peoples proposes that the circles were created by Drepanothermes termites over 12,000 years ago, offering insights from indigenous traditions. 
Bird of Saqqara Made from sycamore wood around 200 BCE, the bird-shaped artifact discovered in Saqqara, Egypt, raises questions about its purpose, given the lack of historical documentation. With a wingspan of 180 millimeters and a weight of 39.12 grams, theories surrounding its function abound. It could be a ceremonial object, symbolizing falcon deities like Horus and Ra Harakti. Alternatively, it might have served as an elite child's toy, a weather vane, or even a primitive boomerang for hunting waterfowl. Some link it to sacred boats during the Apet Festival, while controversial speculations propose it as evidence of ancient aviation principles. Recent simulations, however, dispute this, revealing insufficient glide properties and unstable flight characteristics, challenging the notion of the Saqqara bird as an ancient aerodynamic marvel. Leidenberg Head Discovered in 1957 by a 10-year-old boy playing on his father's farm near Leidenberg, South Africa, the Leidenberg heads are a captivating archaeological find. Dating back to around 500 AD, they mark the earliest known examples of Iron Age art south of the equator. Comprising seven terracotta heads, two large enough to fit over a child's head and five smaller, they exhibit a fascinating blend of features created through clay application and incision. Intriguingly, the lips, nose, eyes, and ears were crafted using unique techniques, showcasing both consistency and variation. The columnar necks bear incised diagonal hatchings, possibly symbolizing prosperity, aligning with the African belief that necks adorned with fat rings denote beauty and affluence. As these mysterious artifacts now grace the National Museum in Cape Town, the Leidenberg heads continue to captivate with their enigmatic artistry and historical significance. Untouched Rainforest of Mozambique Nestled in northern Mozambique, Mount Liko stands as an Inselberg mountain, renowned for its untouched rainforest and human inaccessibility. With an elevation of around 1,100 meters, its sheer rock walls, soaring up to 700 meters, have acted as an impenetrable barrier against human intrusion. This isolated forest, occupying about 30 hectares within a volcanic crater, gained scientific attention in 2012, when Julian Bayliss, using Google Earth, marked it as a site of special interest. In 2018, Bayliss led an expedition to scale the daunting walls and explore the unique habitat within. Despite the initial belief in the forest's pristine state, remnants of human presence surfaced, including strategically placed pots near a mountain stream, hinting at possible ancient religious practices. 5,000-year-old wine jars. In the tomb of Queen Merit Neith at Abydos in Sohag, Egypt, archaeologists have unearthed a remarkable find. Hundreds of large ancient jars containing remnants of 5,000-year-old wine. This Egyptian-German-Austrian archaeological mission not only revealed the well-preserved wine, but also brought to light a collection of funerary equipment. Wine, beyond being a prized beverage in ancient Egypt, symbolized status and power, especially for kings and royalty who indulged in it during rituals and as offerings to gods. The discovery sheds light on the advanced knowledge of winemaking in these ancient societies. Preserving the wine over millennia showcases the skill and techniques employed, offering a unique glimpse into ancient winemaking practices. This finding also holds historical significance, providing new insights into the little-known First Dynasty of Egypt and enhancing understanding of the era's life and customs. New Widow Spider of Africa The recently discovered Finda button spider in South Africa's critically endangered sand forest marks a significant find in the Arachniverse. Closely related to notorious widows like the North American Black Widow and the Australian Redback, it's the first new widow spider identified in nearly 30 years and potentially the world's largest widow spider. With 31 recognized widow spider species globally and 8 in Africa, the Finda button spider, yet to be officially described, would be the ninth on the continent. Barbara Wright of Wild Tomorrow Fund, along with Dr. Ian Engelbrecht, confirmed its uniqueness emphasizing the spider's importance for habitat protection in critically endangered areas like the sand forest. The distinctive bright red markings on the female, its purple egg sac, and its exclusive habitat in the sand forest make this discovery a vital red flag for habitat preservation. Witnessing Africa's epic transformation is a reminder of our planet's dynamic nature. While the split may take millions of years, it's a chance to appreciate the continent's incredible resilience and the ever-evolving story of Earth. So, share this video and spark curiosity, one mind-blown viewer at a time.